bit of an emergency today, guys. We've just had a phone call from Little Town. Dope is in a bad way. Can't stand up, and his breathing is in a terrible state. <coughs> so we're going to head off and get into the vets. So before we get into the vets, we need to treat him. I don't think he's in a good way. So what I'm going to do is cover him for poisoning. Um, and why I'm doing that, when they drool, um, it's a sign of poisoning, especially when they can't lay down and they've got cramps in the belly like he has. So I'm going to be giving him some active charcoal. Active charcoal is basically, like as it is, it's a charcoal drink, but charcoal binds poison. It doesn't do any damage to him. Um, Basically, it's like a water when we're charcoaling. So yeah, I'm gonna get a load of that into him just to cover him. And I'm gonna be giving him some uh, anti-inflammatories in the form of Metacam, which is an injection. Hopefully that will support his uh, organs. And if it's any sort of poisoning, it will help relieve the pain and swelling. So yeah, let's get that done and get him to the vets. Okay, whilst me and the vet work out what's wrong with Dopey, I'll tell you a little bit about his history. Dopey came to us around about five, six years ago now. Um, I actually had a phone call from a guy who was actually taking them to be slaughtered, believe that or not. Um, and he said, do I want them before they get to this place, a slaughter, slaughterhouse? So it was off the cuff decision. I said, yeah even though I was a bit sort of scared of llamas. Llamas are a lot bigger than alpacas. Um, and they're a bit more intimidating and I didn't know a lot about them. Anyway, I said yeah, um, and we got him dropped off. When he steps out of his van, he came in a transit van. When he steps out of his van, it looked like he was 10 foot. And I myself a bit. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna, how am I gonna look after this guy? And Dopey was the first one out. Um, it was the first llama I ever met, and the Peruvians say the first llamas you ever meet, you fall in love with. And it's true. Um, yeah, I fell in love with them straight away, and I got to training them, even though the other three were super easy to train. Dopey was impossible. And at one point, I give up training him, and I thought there's no chance he can ever walk on a lead. Um, shooting forward to today, is now our lead llama. He walks over all the mountains. Um, and we can't go out, out, go anywhere without him. It was the hardest to train, but now he's the best packing llama we have. He's awesome. So, yeah, we've had the best today. We've got to get him sorted out and see what's wrong um, and try and get him right. So after referring to the llama and alpaca bible, um, and we don't think it's pneumonia, the only other thing we think it could be is aspergillosis, which is worth the date. Um, hopefully I said that right. But basically a fungus that's got into his lungs. So what we're gonna be doing is treating him with steroids and an antifungal anti antibiotic. Um, we'll get him back, get him calm and see if the treatment works.
So day three, it's not great news guys. The pain in my ass is still here. And he's doing loads better. Yes. So over the last three days, I've been coming and checking on him, giving him steroids, antibiotics. And uh, yeah, making sure he's getting lots of fluids into him. Give him a little bit of a activated charcoal in case he was poisoned. And slowly but surely, it's come round. Basically, I've been sleeping here, but not a bad place to sleep. But he's doing really well. I'm going to keep him in the barn now for another week, um, just making sure he's going to the toilet and eating properly. And then he can get back out on the fells and get trekking. He's done brilliant. Good lad. So from me and Dopey, thank you for watching guys, it's much appreciated. Next week, I promise, we're going to be picking a baby name, which is going to be awesome, stay tuned for that. Uh, to help us out guys, please like, subscribe and share, and get our YouTube channel growing. See you next week.